We have another Drake one by Fantastic Hip Hop, and it's How Drake Got Even More Petty. So let's see how he got more petty. Now after being the laughing stock of the rap world. Oop, let me make sure you guys can see though. And things only getting worse and worse with each waning moment that the world has processed everything that went down in his beef with Kendrick Lamar. Drake has finally done something to stand in the face of Kendrick and his crew and stop their unprecedented victory lap, but when we really look oh, at nice. what Drake just did, despite him finally pulling something off to clap back at his opponents that actually kind of worked, the measures he had to go to to finally hand team Kendrick and L is honestly pathetic, and if anybody else did this, they would be getting a ton of backlash, and what I am of course talking about is how Kendrick's former TDE label mate and longtime friend Schoolboy Q is currently on his Blue Lips Weekends tour, and as he was supposed to perform his show right within Drake's home city of Toronto, it got cancelled by the Canadian police, and having to tell people that his <laughs> sold-out show was not going to happen, Q tweeted. They just canceled my show in Toronto. I did hear about Canadian that. Canadian police don't want nobody from TDE performing. And then he also went on to follow this up saying, Up was just with Wayne and Baby, SMH. Party Next Door had a show at the Palladium. If we wanted to get y'all, we would have just did. Now when somebody get hurt, don't cry. And now with these tweets, Schoolboy Q is telling us not just about what went down as his own tour performances had to get canceled. But he's also just reiterating. Now, I mean, this would all be in like, this would be a result of the whole Rick Ross incident. Because weren't they performing in uh, Canada or whatever and uh, not like us play and that's what like started that whole thing. Now th that could be just preventing any further like actions, you know, happening, you know, anything crazy, any more altercations happening to anybody, you know. And I feel like that's all that shit is for real. I don't think it's anything like uh, they're banning them, but just a music, like, I don't know, because the the beef with Kendrick. I don't think it's like that. I mean, it is because of that, but it's like not the fact that if part, him and Top Dog think. Entertainment had any real issues with OVO and Drake affiliates beyond the microphone, it would have been settled already as the president of the label was just with Lil Wayne and if they wanted to be petty and shut down one of Drake's OVO, OVO signees in Party Next Door from playing in their own city of LA, yeah, they could have different. done the same thing. And now that this has went down, Q seems to be declaring that this feud and these tensions are far from over, and I mean when we look at this move, with TDE no longer being able to do shows in Canada, this is something we can almost confirm that Drake had his hand in, because in the past, he had the pull to do such things as get Lil Wayne back into Toronto in 2022 after being banned all the way back in 2011, and seeing how big of a star Drake is and just how much of an ambassador Damn, for really? he is for Canada, like that, bro? I festivals even know he, he throws, and his involvement with the Toronto Raptors. It really should not be shocking that probably the biggest star the country has ever produced has so much pull over things if he wants. And if this wasn't enough for you, Drake posting later on his IG story in a Tony Yayo shirt after Yayo recently said that any critics of Drake would no longer be welcomed in the six, it pretty much confirms what the evidence and school's words already told us. But just because Drake is the face of Canada, that does really that mean petty. it's alright to do this? Because out of everything Drake could have done to level the score from releasing new music to trying other angles to diss Kendrick, TDE, and the West Coast through. This is not just one of the pettiest, but it's actually pathetic that these are the measures you have to go to to counteract the impact your opponents are making clip of Drake too when damn it comes much, to bro. what this choice means. On top of how forcing a show to get cancelled right before it's about to happen makes everybody from the artist to the hardworking crews on the tour lose money. Drake is also literally robbing his own city and country from getting one of the best musical performances that was on their calendar this year because as Schoolboy Q has shown in 2024, Aside from his affiliation with Kendrick Lamar and his appearances at the Pop Out concert and in the Not Like Us video, he has been one of the best rappers this entire year period, as his album Blue Lips was genuinely amazing and with Q's breathtaking performances that push the boundaries of how you can infuse passionate lyricism, emotional pain, and unpredictable production all with one factor that few rappers including Drake can never showcase which is maturity. This I can't lie, like, uh, Q at the Canadian concert, bro, or, uh, in Canada for the concert, that's, that's wild, bro. Like, that's a, that's a huge loss to Canada for that, bro. This project is that, a that sure is fire a, out the year Canada, really and will go down as one of the best is. bodies of work from this year, and unfortunately, Canada will never be able to see school like you remind music. the world of why he is one of the best rappers of the 2010s, and why he's only growing more now, and with the rest of TDE and their affiliates, from Absol, J-Rock, if they are really serious about this, then SZA, and of course Kendrick Lamar. All of these names and more are banned from ever playing in Drake's Damn. home city, which is Not just SZA. a pathetic move, and at the end of the day, 
It's only going to hurt the city in the long run as their hip hop ecosystem will begin to get closed off from the larger hip hop world That's because with all of the other rappers who have problems with Drake, who knows how far he will end up going with this. I think what will really be telling about this is when Future and Metro Boomin go to Toronto on August 11th during their We Trust You tour. Because oh, considering that better. these two were the guys who started this whole nightmare for Drake and that they have been some of the most calculated and firm when it comes to standing on their anti-Drake stance. It very well seems like they could run into a similar problem and find out that they can't play the shows that they are supposed to. And from doing all this, I think the question we really have to look at is, Not for what right, is even Drake actually of... achieving by doing this? I mean, this is the equivalent of somebody taking their ball home because they don't want to play with everybody else anymore. And if Drake starts blocking off artists who are affiliated with Kendrick Lamar and people who just don't like him from coming into his city, Aside from Drake's own petty interest, which will keep his rivals away from his own turf and hurt their own pockets by having one less place to go, I guess. This will also hurt the businesses and oh, venues that rely that on some of these tours. Take, for example, the venue that was hosting Q's show, History. This was a sold-out concert with a venue capacity of 2,500 people lined up to go and now. All the people going are not just going to get inconvenienced. But the businesses in your own city will lose money for having a show that is one of the biggest tours going on right now not coming through your city and this is the problem now despite the fact that this venue is partially owned by drake there are other stakeholders and That's people with jobs who is. are just being massively inconvenienced by this all and what this really is showing all right about the lie he is like let, let, me, let me get a little closer come here like we gotta um we gotta look at it this way I feel like he's blown it out of proportion. Just, like, I want to say a little bit, kind of like a lot. I feel like it's not that big of a deal. It's like, it's a, it's a deal, like, for for Q and shit like that. And, you know, Canadian fans would to see, like, the boy. Like, it's understandable for a lot of certain things, but I feel like it's a little blown out of proportion here. I feel like he's kind of overdoing it. It's not that bad. It's It, like, sucks, you know, because he did to, you know, miss out on the concert. But that's, that's as far as I go. It's like, it just sucks. I don't think it's hurting, like, you know... Like the jobs and shit. Like, I don't think it's all that. Like I feel like it's a little extra. But it is. Uh, it's stopping people from enjoying the music. You know what I mean? And that's, that's about it. You know, see him, see him in person. They still listen to fucking some music in the headphones. You feel me? But you know, you, you're missing out in person. That's about fundamental it. difference between how Drake and a lot of the other artists in TDE just handle we'll being big time rappers. As Drake is being petty at the literal expense of everybody else, and when you can no longer compete with Kendrick or any of TDE lyrically or on any sort of chessboard musically. With this being the route Drake is going on, it's really just showing how desperate he is to try to get back at Kendrick and TDE for doing what seems like irreversible damage to his career, and now as this show has been cancelled and now with Schoolboy Q. After his initial social media rant and confirmation that if this is the way Team Drake wants to play, TDE won't be the aggressors, but they will take note. Q also made sure to make it clear that him and his crew would never take this beyond music, because at the end of the day, it does not matter to them. Now, whether this was when Kendrick was talking about raising yeah, his son and that his whole like, life is not about like... rap on a track like Euphoria, or Q making the point over and over again as social media was blowing up over this that he is a soccer dad. While these guys do put their heart into their art and release great songs and albums when they come out, at the end of the day, rap is a job to them, and especially now Don't as drink. guys <laughs> like Kendrick and crew have families. They keep the rap game at arm's length Kendrick for them so they can be the men and fathers that they want to be. So ridiculous antics that are under them don't follow them around everywhere they go and at the end of the day, that is the difference with this whole situation. Drake is so petty and caught up on this view that he is banning his competition from coming to his city regardless of who else it affects, meanwhile with TDE. Now that for all intensive purposes, the main part of the battle is over, though. they want to go about their if he and continue their lives and did. in all honesty. I think Drake needs to listen to an album like Hugh's Blue Lips instead of just posting up in a picture of Blue Slides to troll him, which if you didn't know is the third song on the Blue Lips album and serves as the thematic centerpiece of the entire project. He probably should have tried oh, to get a ticket to his show instead of canceling it, because he wouldn't just see what it's like to make a good album at this point in your career like, that yeah, I, you can't, extremely well written and produced. Like, you also can't blame Drake either, bro. Like, come on now. Like, we, we can't blame him after the fucking, you know, flaming the Ninja God, bro. Like, come on. You can't blame him for, like, doing it either. So, like, let's be real here. Like, would, he, would you really let, like, the Ninja that destroyed your life... Your career, or I wouldn't say your career, but it's like he's still fine, like for real. But it's just like he just, you know, he beat him down a little bit. You really don't let his like his best buddy like come play in your fucking house. You know what I mean? Like, come on, let's be fucking real, bro. 
but maybe then Drake would understand that he might need to start growing up a little and begin to really step up into being the man that he has been called out for not being, but as it stands. Drake is just going further into his own world of delusion, and beyond just his own thoughts, he is now making his city follow in his footsteps I mean, whether you to, agree with uh, him or away, not. So with is. all of that said, let me know. How do you feel about this Damn, situation what? and what Drake did? And if you want to leave a comment about Schoolboy Q's Blue Lips, please do that as well because I would love to hear what your favorite tracks and parts of that record Damn, are because want, it bro? is genuinely amazing. I can't wait to hear what you have to say. And if Delays you want to see Drake. why Drake said he was giving up on rap right before this happened. All right. That's how Drake got even more petty. I don't know if I can agree with that fully, bro. I feel like he was trying to, uh, like, like, don't get me wrong. Like, Drake, Drake deservingly got his shots in, you know, shit like that by uh, by Kendrick. But, you know, now it's like he's just taking a petty shot at him. Like, he didn't he didn't even do, like, anything. Like, I don't think it was petty. Like, I feel like it's, it's fine. That's a, that's a reasonable move. His opponent is Kendrick, so why would he let his best friend play in his venue? It's like, it's fine, party next door, doing whatever he's doing. He's making his money. He ain't stopping him from doing what he's doing. You know what I mean? So, I don't understand. I don't see him as, like, a... Or is this, like, a petty move? I feel like it was an appropriate move. Because, like, why would he, like, allow that to happen? You know what I mean? That makes sense. And it's only at that venue. I don't know. If he, like, bans some niggas from Canada or somehow, I, I don't know... That would be wild, but that, that's ultimate petty right there. But him stop him stopping them from going to his arena or whatever, that don't, that don't sound like a big deal to me, bro. That's like basically his house, bro. So I, I get that one. That makes the most sense.